We're working on the experiment today and we're trying to use, uh, put some, get some use out of the GPS clock. We have a surplus GPS discipline clock here. One of the things we did with it was uh, to build a uh, 10 megahertz reference network in the uh, shop here and in the radio room. And here's our uh, 10 megahertz di master distribution box and uh, it takes an input from the um, 10 megahertz output of the uh, GPS clock here. We have uh, hardware or uh, wire outputs from the uh, distribution block and we also have a uh, fiber optic output. So we have two fiber optic outputs and one goes to the workbench here in the shop and the other one goes to the radio room. We're also taking the uh, one pulse per second signal out of the GPS clock and we're feeding it on a piece of coax cable. We're feeding it over to the workbench. So let's go over the workbench and see what we're doing with that uh, one pulse per second signal. Now here we are at the workbench and uh, you can probably hear some clicking in the background and that's our one second uh, timer, a one second counter, an electromechanical counter. This is the other end of the distribution uh, of the uh, 10 megahertz distribution block and we're feeding it over to the uh, workbench on uh, on a fiber optic uh, Toshiba link and this is the uh, this is the Toshiba link here and I don't know if you can see it uh, yeah you can see it on the camera there uh, the bright uh, end of that uh, fiber optic link well, there we got that back together and we have one output. You notice there's uh, three outputs on that uh, slave distribution uh, box and uh, we're feeding that one output over a frequency counter. So here's the, uh, the HP uh, 5316 uh, counter and we have that uh, this counter referenced to a uh, rubidium standard and we are measuring the 10 megahertz uh, signal there and you notice it's uh, right on the money there at uh, 10 megahertz. And, uh, yesterday we had a false start. We had thought we had the uh, clock running but uh, it was not keeping time accurately. So I think we're doing better today. So here is the Walmart $3.47 analog quartz clock but it is not running off the quartz time base it is running off the GPS one pulse per second signal and here we have the mechanical uh, electromechanical counter and this is counting seconds and um, so this is all tied together so we have a couple of little uh, chips here. We have three little modules and um, one is a pulse stretcher and the other one is a divide by two counter and the third one is just a, uh, a little buffer chip. I've got the oscilloscope probes uh, connected to the uh, a circuit and uh, at this point uh, uh, I'm afraid to touch anything because I think uh, it'll stop working. So anyway, uh, we've got the signal coming in here. This connector is driving the one pulse per second coming from the GPS clock and uh, going into our pulse stretcher. And from there it goes into the uh, divide by two and the divide by two goes over to this unit here which is uh, just a buffer circuit and the buffer circuit uh, comes out and goes to a little uh, relay here we have a buffer relay a little read relay from the junk box 
And this relay is taking the power from the uh, 5 volt power supply here. And uh, it's actually going over and feeding our, uh, our little wall clock over here. So you see here we have uh, 11, uh, 24, and 10 seconds. And uh, here we have 11, 24, and uh, 15, 6, 17. Try to get them both in. Uh, Got them too far apart here anyway. Right now they're uh, they're keeping time together. Anyway, that's the uh, latest activity here at the uh, WA6RZW clock shop. Thanks for watching.